Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When receiving customer payments in QuickBooks Online using the Receive Payment window, most often the amounts are deposited into an undeposited funds account. To record a deposit of funds from the undeposited funds account to a bank account, like your company's checking or savings account, click the Create button, and then click the Bank Deposit link under the other heading in the drop-down menu to open the deposit window. Select the bank account into which the funds will be deposited from the drop-down menu in the upper left corner of this window. Enter the date of the bank deposit into the adjacent Date field. If you have locations enabled in QuickBooks Online, you can use the Show Payments for this location drop-down to show funds received from a specific location within the Select Existing Payments section below, if needed. The default value for this drop-down is the All Locations choice. The Select Existing Payments list shows all received amounts waiting for deposit. This list has the column headings Received From, Date, Type, Payment Method, Memo, Reference Number, and Amount. The Received From column shows from whom the payment was received. The Date column shows the date the payment was received. The Type column shows how the payment was entered into QuickBooks Online. The Payment Method column shows what type of payment it is. The Memo column shows any memo field information. The Reference Number column shows the payment's reference number if applicable. The Amount column shows the payment amount. Check the checkboxes to the left of the items in the Select Existing Payments list that you will be recording within this bank deposit. To help you make selections, you can click the Select All button at the bottom of this list to mark all items for deposit. You can click the Clear All button to clear selected list items. In the lower right corner of this list, the Total line shows the total amount of funds in the list. The Selected Payments total shows the total amount of selected items in the list. The Add New Deposits list lets you add additional items not recorded by other transactions in QuickBooks. For example, if the owner of the company wanted to record funds given to the company along with the payments received in a single deposit, they could enter the owner's contribution here. The columns in this list are Received From, Account, Description, Payment Method, Reference Number, Amount, and Class, if classes are enabled. When creating a new deposit amount, first select the Customer, Vendor, or Employee name from the Received From column. Use the Account column to choose from which account the funds are coming. For example, if recording an owner's contribution to the company as part of the total deposit, the owner's contributions equity account would be selected here. The Description column lets you enter a description for the deposit. The Payment Method column lets you record the type of payment. The Reference Number column lets you enter a reference number for the line item if needed. The Amount column lets you enter the amount to deposit for the line item. You can also use the Add Lines and Clear All Lines buttons below this section to add more lines to the list or clear all the information from the lines in this list. Checking the Track Returns for Customers checkbox adds billable, tax, and customer columns to the list to help you track returns for customers. The New Deposits total in this section appears in the lower right corner of this list. You can enter a note about this deposit into the Memo field in the lower left corner of the window. You can also use the Attachments field in this area to attach a file to the deposit if desired. To keep cash back from this deposit to put into an account like Petty Cash, use the Cash Goes Back to drop-down to select the account. Then enter the reason for holding the cash back into the Cash Back Memo field. Then enter the amount to hold as cash back into the Cash Back Amount field. The buttons in the toolbar at the bottom of this window let you manage the entire deposit. To cancel the deposit, click the Cancel button. To print a deposit slip and summary, or summary only, click the Print button to open a pop-up menu. Then select the command to perform. Print deposit slip and summary, print deposit summary only, or setup and alignment. To configure your printer to properly print your deposit slips, click the setup and alignment command. 
Clicking the Make Recurring button lets you create a recurring deposit, which is rarely needed for most companies. At the right end of the toolbar is a drop-down button with a Save in New or Save and Close option. Either click the button to perform the current choice shown, or click the drop-down arrow and then select the alternate choice from the pop-up menu. Selecting Save in New saves the current deposit and then opens a new deposit window. Selecting Save and Close saves the deposit and closes the window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.